Hi, Ben here from Deer Central. Um, deer stalking knives. We can go down the rabbit warren of debate on metallurgy um, and knife design, but in reality, um, what you want to know is the practicalities. Um, and from my point of view, what I look for in a knife is um, ergonomics, and ease of maintenance and hygiene. So sometimes there's a bit of a, um, a compromise when it comes to a good looking knife. Um, and I'm gonna just talk you through perhaps some decision-making factors when it comes to um, something a little bit more special. You wanna spend some money, perhaps you don't wanna go down the custom route. So the Castrom SFK. Uh, SFK standing for Swedish Forest Knife. This is a really versatile knife. Um, it will cater for uh, your um, gralicking and carcass process uh, for all of the UK deer species. So if you're stalking some of the bigger deer, it's got a little bit of um, length to the blade. Um, but it's also... Um, a really versatile knife in the sense that you could um, go uh, and, and use it for bushcraft activities, um, cutting up kindling, whittling wood, shaping um, sh shaping lengths of hazel for, for, for various applications. Um, so what makes it a, a versatile knife um, and what the decision made, making factors for you perhaps uh, for your deer stalking? Well, um, the knife itself, uh, let's talk about the shape of the blade because um, that has um, uh, uh, an, an effect on how you maintain it. So um, the two different Castrum SFK knives that we stock have two different types of uh, blade geometry. Um, we've got the Scandi grind, which is a, um, it's a type of flat grind where the, the bevel um, starts um, further down uh, the width of the blade and goes down to um, the sharp angular edge, the cutting edge in, 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 in one angle. So this is normally a 22, to, uh, maybe 23 degree angle. Um, and that cutting edge, it goes straight down, the bevel goes straight down to that cutting edge. And that means um, that you can rest that edge on a sharpening stone um, and maintain that edge quite easily as you're sharpening because it just sits on that bevel. Uh, that makes it easy to sharpen in the field and um, easier to, to maintain uh, in that sense. Whereas the, um, the other design is a full flat grind, uh, which means that um, the, um, the grind goes down fr from the spine um, here um in a in a kind of linear slope all the way down to the bevel edge but then when it gets to that bevel um it then has a an angle um which then meets the cutting edge so when you sharpen that knife it means that you have to maintain uh, the angle on 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 that bevel edge correctly to to sharpen it so uh, there's a technique involved and it's easy to um uh, get get quite skilled with that technique with practice, um, but practically, um, and if you're you're not practiced at doing it, then the Scandi grind um, is that much easier to sharpen. Um, so, um, what else to say? Practically, hygiene, the knives themselves. So the knives I've got here, um, they're made from Makata. Um, so Makata is um, a name given to, to um, fabrics such as uh, linen, canvas, fiberglass, even carbon, fi carbon fiber, um, thermoset um, into um, a plastic uh, composite. Um, so that means it's sealed um, and it's hygienic. Um, so on this particular knife, you've got um, a knife that looks very much like a, a, a grain from wood. Um, and it, it's a lovely kind of green, um, 
grain, if you like. Um, and if you look closely on the orange, um, it does have a, a simil similar um, textured look to it. Um, the black, you've got a really sleek, glossy black um, Makata there, inlaid with a brown liner. And that too um, has a, a textured look about it uh, when you look at it uh, in, in, in the light. Um, so mo moving on with hygiene, uh, these are obviously um, supplied with a leather sheath. So if you're going to stick with that leather sheath, you'll need to be mindful that you need to clean your knife off properly before you put it back into that. Um, however, um, on the way is a Kydex sheath and it will be additional extra to, to the knife itself. Um, but stay tuned uh, for that Kydex sheath because it's going to be, um, it's obviously going to be more hygienic, cleanable, um, but it's also going to be quite versatile and it's going to have a, a Molly compatible clip on the back as well as a canvas uh, belt loop or, or uh, um, dangler. Um, by dangler, I mean something like that. So um, this is another added extra, additional ax extra that you can purchase. It just means that you can hang that uh, knife below the belt line um, instead of on the belt line. Um, so they're a, an additional extra. Um, so uh, in terms of um, why I think this knife is worth the money, uh, they are well-made knives, made in Europe, um, that they are durable and strong. Uh, the blade um, tang goes all the way back through the handle itself. Um, they are um, solidly built and to last a lifetime. So um, in addition to these Makata offerings, um, we do stock occasionally or can special order for you. Um, so slightly more special uh, knives such as um, curly birch. Um, th that is a stabilised curly birch, so it is um, sealed, hygienic. Um, there's also a blue birch, which is um, a beautiful um, uh, stabilised blue birch. So um, just, it just looks amazing. But um, do go to our website to look at those. Um, at the moment, we have um, the, the green Makata, the orange and the black. Uh, we can supply them, um, stock permitting, um, in either a brown um, or a black sheath. So um, any questions, please do get in touch. Um, and remember, we don't just want to supply you with excellent kit. Um, here at Deer Central, we want to show you how to use it.